Hi guys, right, I want to talk to you about QSLing today. Um, postage has got ridiculously expensive, and even for a second class stamp here in the UK, you know, you're talking 60 odd pence, it's just crazy. So, and it's even more expensive to send cards overseas, so I, don't, I haven't done it for years. I'm not really into QSLing, to be perfectly honest with you, but people like to receive a QSL. So what I've been doing for quite a long time now is using eQSL, that's electronic QSL. And to do this, you need to be a member of the uh, eQSL website, it's free of charge. You can have a bronze, silver and gold membership, I believe, which gives you more entitlements, but <clears throat> I prefer to just use the free membership because you know it's, it's simple and it gives me gives me what I want to do. And this is my QSL card here. Uh, this is just a test QSL card. We go to a contact I made. We can. I'll show you what it looks like. What the person who received it. What it looks like. So we go to players card so here it is this is what it looks like so as you can see here this is all the information all printed all automatic all uh, automatically straight from your logbook because you can set your logbook up I use log log 4 uh, om and you can send bulk uh, send these eqsls in bulk so there's no need to do anything it's all very simple and with ham radio deluxe uh, I believe they still upload um, as soon as you press enter and log a program. The uh, QSL is automatically uploaded to the eQSL website. Whether the person has eQL doesn't really matter. If they if they don't have eQSL, then obviously they won't receive receive it. If they have, they will. So uh, this is what we're going to create. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to create this. Uh, QSL card um, and you don't need any uh, external programs such as Photoshop or anything like that and you don't need to go off to these websites that make them for you and probably charge you a fortune or there are some websites you can do it for free don't need any of them all you need is paint and uh, paint 3D that's all you need to do it. and if you've got an up-to-date computer then uh, you'll have it on there so, with further ado, let's go and have a look. So I'll just minimise that. Um, and we'll just close that for a minute. And then we'll just open up the photo that we're going to start with. Now, that's a photo of Brixton, where I live. I nicked it off the internet. You know, it, obviously it's... Uh, there's copyright issues, but I'm not just I'm not selling it. I'm not distributing it, to, you know, on the internet. It's going just to people. So, I don't see any any problem in doing that. But so that's the, that's what we've got. This is the program we're going to be working with. At the moment, it's 1,200 pixels. That's so too big, too big for the EQSL. But we can we'll make that smaller, and I'll show you how easy it is to do. So the first thing we're going to do is just add our text so we'll click up here add and create and we'll click on edit with paint 3d and what we what we want to do is we're going to put text on here we click on the text button up here and i'm going to choose the 3d text now i want i want my call sign up here so i'm just going to click once like that i'm going to make the box slightly bigger like so and i'm going to put my call sign in. Right, I want the text a bit big, bigger than that. So I'll highlight it like you would in any text program. And we'll just go down here and I'll make it a lot bigger. Uh, 94. And we'll change the font as well. Let's have a look what we've got. Uh, I don't like that. Let's have a look what we've got. Uh, 
There we go, that's quite nice. We'll, we'll, we'll have that one. And we'll change the colour to white. There we go, like that. Bring those boxes in. We need to just move it slightly. So we get that, hover that over there. Alright, that'll do. Right, once you're happy with it, click. Oh, it's just me to move it down slightly again. There we go. That's nice. Click again. That's saved. That looks quite nice, actually. I quite like that. Right, next thing to do, I want to put some information up here, which I've already got here. So, I'll copy that. Copy it to the clipboard. Again, I'm going to use uh, normal 2D text this time. Click once. I'll bring this in, in like that. Control V. I'm going to make this slightly bigger. Bigger than that. Maybe slightly bigger. Yeah, I'll do. I'm gonna make that white as well. All right, we're gonna move this. I'm not gonna be too precise because it's just. A demonstration. Alright, that's not too bad. Right, we're happy with that, so we can just click outside. And now we have it, and that is our QSL card. Now the next thing we need to do, is I need to save that now. I need to save it. going to call it test because this is the test save that like that and then I'm going to go back in here well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually I'm going to open up paint now paint and I'm going to open up Try that again. Some reason it opened up underneath. Yeah. Right. Um. Here we are. Now, you know what I said before about the program being too big. If we go back to EQSL and go into our design. This is what we want. We want our graphics to be 320 by 240. Right? Very simple in paint. As you'll see. I'm going to reset, click on the resize button. Pixels. As you can see, we're 1200 at the moment. You watch what happens. 320. It automatically goes to 240. That's the ratio. So we click OK. And now we have our finished card so we can save that exit out and then I'm not going to upload it because I've already done it what you then do is you go to your design and you, you uh, click on upload card and then you choose your card from where you have it stored um, down there that's I'm not going to do it because it's already there and then upload card and you're finished so that's how you do it very simple um, and then if you want to change the design you can and every time you upload 
a new design. It will overwrite it. Even the people who you sent cards to years ago, if they look, uh, if they go back and look at their cards, and they'll see your new design. So, and it's just very simple to do. It's uh, and you can put more on the card. Yeah, I wouldn't make it too cluttered if I was you. But uh, that's uh, how I've done mine. And uh, you know, you can get creative if you, if you want. You can put pictures of yourself on there. It's just a fun way to do it, and it's uh, an easy way to do it, and it just saves a lot of hassle. You don't need to uh, pay anyone to do it or use any uh, websites to do it because you can do it on your, your own, own computer. So there, there you go. I hope that uh, hope that helped, and uh, maybe you can go off and do it yourselves. Cheers for now. Take care.